I do need to run in sprouts though. I was hoping you could go with me. So I don't know, we can't leave the car, the dog in the car, so. If you want to do that, you should get you can do the answer, we should get the dog out there. Or the dog could come in sprouts. It's a small dog. It'll fit into the the cart. Looking for the Roma tomatoes, but I don't see any more. I might just get something like that. Oh, heirloom. I could eat these for lunch. We're slicing. Sprouts. I'm picking up a couple things and they have this which is so beautiful. It's giving fall. Um, but we got our melons over here that are damn near ten dollars a piece. So gourds. Did you guys know that they use those interesting looking pumpkins to squash? The I think family, it right? maybe in the squash family. To make instruments. I had no idea. That is so interesting. But okay, let me grab the rest of mine. I know Jay over me because the guy, the um, poultry guy was like, we got a swordfish. And he was like, oh, it's best to cook it on, you know, like Siri. And I said, oh, you know, my expertise is high heat. Jay say I'm always cooking stuff on high heat. So we're going to see. This is going to be our first time trying swordfish. And yes, I'm excited. So 56 and we're headed to Walmart to get the second part of our grocery. Okay, so ordinarily this is our favorite part of the grocery haul because we just sit in the car and wait for Walmart to come and drop off the food. Um, however, I need to run in Walmart and get some protein because when I did my pickup order, they were saying that they was gonna have to ship it to me. And I know where it is. And every time I order this protein, they always act like they don't know where it is. How do I know y'all store better than y'all know y'all store? But anyway, I'm gonna run in, get my protein real quick and come right back to the car so I can get the rest of my stuff. Meet you guys back. <laughs> Tonight I am taking off my nails, artificial nails, 
and my nail beds look horrific. They are in really bad shape, super weak. Um, and this is what happens when you get acrylic, guys. So this is like why I like never get acrylic. But um, I was born in Chicago, uh, like in July, you guys. These nails have been on my fingers since July. And <laughs> I blended it in and did my own coat of gel polish to extend the life because I tried soaking them in acetone and they were not coming off my fingers. So the lady um, thinned my nail out so much to the point where they're like super fragile because my nails are usually really, really strong, um, but clearly they're looking pretty sad right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a, a gel overlay on them and then let them grow out naturally and I'll probably just trim them down as time goes on because I have cuts deep inside my nail bed and I don't wanna pull that or get it caught on something because that's gonna be super painful. And as for tomorrow, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a gift for our downstairs neighbor now that we have a new dog because Dakota is loud, you guys. I'm gonna call her Coco because she's chocolate. Um, Coco for short, but she's loud and she runs around. And so I wanna drop off something, just a nice gift for our downstairs neighbors and maybe like a letter, just being like, hey, you know, thank you guys for being patient right through here. We're getting a new puppy. Yeah, just, you know, if you have any complaints, please reach out to us and not the office. <laughs> and I have a super busy day. So tomorrow I'm going to go to a place called Career Source to check on if they have any grant money for people who are interested in design and construction. So I'll be doing that tomorrow and I'll take you guys along with me there after work. And I think I need to pick up another temp tag because it's a whole thing with my registration, you guys. It's a whole thing. Figure out a different back system because what in the world? And it's heavy. But everything I take, I need. I got my gym, my lunch bag, my purse. I think I'm gonna have to take it back to the rolling book bag, y'all. I don't know. <laughs>
Who eats these, you guys? These look like old people chips. All right, so fresh off the clock, it's hot. It's hot out here. But I am headed to Career Source to check on any funding they might have for design or construction programs. So, so let me tell y'all how my guy works because I've been trying to get my registration since we moved out here. Okay, and I went today because I literally just thought I was gonna be asking for another extension for a temp tag. They told me they don't do that, right? Um, when I got there, and it's been an it's been an ongoing issue asking my lien holder to send the DMV information, asking the DMV to send the lien holder information. Finally, after speaking to probably 50 different people at my lien holder place and literally calling the DMV weekly for the past several months, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. They know my name. I walked up in there today and they were like, oh, hey girl, ain't you from Texas? The DMV shouldn't know you like that. <laughs> like. We shouldn't be on a first name. Hey, how's, how's your kids? Like, it shouldn't be that way. But anyway, thank God. One of the women that were working there, she sent me to the back, which I didn't have an appointment. So that was the first blessing. And I was praying my whole way over there, okay? So God was working it out. Um, When I got there, she sends me to the back. And she's like, who were you speaking with? I had the names of the people that I spoke with, the dates that I spoke with them, the information that they told me. She pulled one of the ladies that I had been speaking with. I think she was the manager over the whole DMV came to talk to me um she saw like follow me so she takes me to the back she's like we're gonna go ahead and set you up with another temp tag even even though we don't do that the young lady that was gonna help me with the temp tag was the one who was like, oh hey girl ain't you from texas i'm like yes hey i'm back <laughs> surprise surprise she's like oh girl they did they you know finally send you your stuff through an email did they finally send you your um title information and i'm like actually yes i do have my title information but it's in an email format of which you guys told me i couldn't have Anyway, some way, somehow, I guess because they know I've been trying to get this switched over for so many months, they were like, you know what? We're going to go ahead and do it. We're going to go ahead and do it. So they really hooked your girl up. They set me up. I ended up getting my tax. Damn near $500. So that hurt. But, you know, I had let them expire. So it is what it is. But y'all, when I say God worked that thing out today, because I thought I was going to have to wait another 50 days. My lien holder told me I had to write a letter that has my VIN and all this like specific information and request that they transfer my title from Texas to Florida. And then I had to mail that off before we could even get the transaction going on trying to switch over my title. Anyway, sorry for all the expl extra explanation, but just know God works miracles on a daily, okay? All I gotta say. Um, but tomorrow I'm gonna go back up into career source because I did visit them today. However, they told me that their um, grant information and assistance and all that for like education programs happens only on Tuesdays and you have to come at 10 a.m. or 2 p.m. So I'll be able to go tomorrow before work. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so I'm gonna run and get some donuts for the young lady that helped me at the DMV yesterday. Um, there's a Dunkin' Donuts, like it says three minutes away. And then I'm gonna head to work now when i was leaving the dmv i just saw this man well i'm leaving the career source center this morning but hold on y'all let me get in the car okay sorry so i was leaving the career source center and you guys i have such amazing news like oh my gosh so it said that they will cover the whole cost of um, AutoCAD, which is the main programming that designers and architects use. So I'm hoping that I could take computer-aided design for free, essentially, like they would pretty much cover the cost of the class. And then that would put me at summer. So if I'm unable to enroll at Seminole State at the Florida rate by January, I can enroll 
it looks like by the summer hopefully hopefully preferably but what i was saying is when i was leaving out of the um career center that i just came from which also is where the dmv is and i was here yesterday and i got a blessing i saw this man walking out and he was older and he was like on a cane and i don't know a lot of times you guys like when i see older people and disabled people it just i automatically like go into prayer for them and i just want to know if y'all can relate like when y'all see people who are disabled you know do, like does that pull on your heartstrings but i just immediately like went into prayer and i'm like lord just bless his body bless his bones make him stronger god bring strength to his body bring strength to his mind allow him the gratitude that even though some parts of his body may not work as well as they did when he was younger or before whatever happened um that he would just be restored in his in his faith and in his walk god so anyway i just know that like as I've grown closer with God and I need to work on my reading, baby, because like I've been struggling like with my schedule and stuff all over the place. But I know as I've grown in my relationship with God that I notice like my prayers are more about other people. And I just love that for me because I'll start off a prayer thinking I'm going to petition for something for myself. And then five minutes into the prayer, I'll just be praying for everybody else. And I'm like, thank you God for that growth. And thank you for that selflessness and that heart. And I just want him to continue just molding my heart posture um, for the glory of his kingdom. So anyway, um, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm going to go get these donuts and bring them back to thank these women that helped me out yesterday. And then I'm going to head to work. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Bye.